would you for isn't very far from us so it's very important to start learning it in order to when it's finally released we are able to create our own games that's why i will show you how to create and open a project in goodo 4 firstly go to the official web page of goodo to download goodo 4 goodoengine.org you will scroll down a little bit and here in the latest news or in this part you will see dev snapshot goodo 4.0 and some number of beta you will click in this article, scroll down again, you will click where it says jump to the download section and here you will download the standard build. Now here you will select the version of your operating system, in this case Windows 64 and you will wait until it finishes. You will have this zip file in your PC and now you will just have to extract it with WinRAR or any other program like this. And now you will just have to open this file that says uh, Gujo version 4.0 beta.x. This is the important file. And now you can see that we have Gujo installed. As you can see, the interface in this case is very similar. You can still uh, go to the assets library projects. You can also uh, change the language as well. So to create a new project, you will just create here where it says new project. Now you will put a name to a project, for example, tutorial. Um, you will select a project path. I'm just going to leave the default path and create a new folder there. Now uh, you can select the renderer of your project. You have Forward Plus, mobile and compatibility. Uh, Forward Plus, you have here an explanation and with mobile and compatibility as well. And you can also select a version control metadata. After selecting everything you would like, you will click where it says create and edit. Now it's loading and just in a couple of seconds, we should be able to see our good job for. Yes, of course. Okay, and here we are in Gudo 4 beta 10 in this case the process of creating a new project and opening and opening a new project uh, should be similar in every beta version so don't worry if you are watching this tutorial a couple of weeks or months ago but anyway uh, let's just try uh, some things here in Gudo 4 uh, i will just create a new script and a node and just try out things so to start i'm going to create a 2d scene and rename it to something like main uh, i will save this scene obviously uh, the shortcuts i think they are all the same um i will attach a new script with a template of empty um and then i'm going to create uh, that script so now here we should be able to write our code first i'm going to create um, the function ready and here for example I will print uh, something print and I will print for example hello world I'm going to press play and select the current scene as my main scene and we will see if this is working yes okay it's working as you can see it takes a little bit to play maybe the first time because remember this is a beta uh, you may face some errors some bugs but it's normal uh, i will try to make uh, something maybe harder well it's not that hard but anyway i'm going to add a new sprite and as this sprite i'm going to quick load the icon of good job maybe drag and drop it and then um instead of printing i would like to change the color of this sprite uh, with the modulate modulate and i will put something like color i dot and which color i know red for example this one okay so now when i play as you can see my icon is now red so everything is working fine the last thing i'm going to try is to make a user interface a very simple user interface i'm going to add a control node um also the layout okay this menu is a little bit changed i believe okay but the anchors will be uh full wrecked yes but it as it is in a 2d scene it won't work well so i will delete this control node 
I will create a new scene of a user interface and as you can see now everything is fine here I will create a label and now I'm going to put some text here like for example hello world and I'm going maybe to maybe move it because in that top left part of the screen I don't like it okay and now I'm going to preview this scene and also we have to save it and as you can see everything is working fine again if you would like more good job for tutorials how to make games how to make collisions I don't know anything please leave a like and a subscription this is all for today's video see you in the next one and bye bye